the electricity tax force is uh, out in town to collect its revenue from their customers. Here at the Accra International Conference Center, we've heard some departing news from the norm where people owe the ECG uh, huge sums of money. But what we've gotten from here is that they are prompt with payment, they are current, and they even sometimes give pressure to the ECG tax force to come for check to settle their debts. Hadi Ibrahim is the chief accountant here at the Accra International Conference Centre and he's been sharing with us what has changed over the period with their payment of bills. What has changed is the fact that um, the centre and, and the electricity corporation are partners and the centers rely on the ECG for its power needs. Therefore, it has never been and will not be in the interest of even the center to default in payment. But to cut long story, long story short, it happened those days that we had a lot of a lot of bills and then we were not also matching up with revenue. It got to a time that we were so much indebted to the electricity corporation, so we had to come to some agreement, gentleman agreement, a mode of payment. They gave us a payment plan, and we kept faith with the payment plan. So we were able to uh, clear our bills by the end of Latin last year or thereabout. The Revenue Protection Tax Force at ECG also uncovered underground illegally connected cables at Hillbury Hotel at Ebury where the entire facility operates without paying bills. So all the load in the hotel passes through the joints they've done, which doesn't go to any meter. This is the, the, the So this is what we see. It's a T off. Yeah. Further checks from the installed meters revealed that the three meters recorded zero readings. In the current one is zero, two, zero, three. It's also zero. Let's come to meter two. Meter two is also the same thing. V1, zero, V2. The V1 is two, two, three. V2, two, 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 three. V3, two, two, nine. Current, one, zero, two, zero, three. It's also zero. So it means that all that they are using it's on bypass. They are using it free. Meter three. V V one two thirty two twenty four and then two thirty. The current one zero two zero and then three. It's also zero. <coughs> Meter four. That's the meter number, the time, the date, voltage. One is two two nine. The next one was two three zero. Two three zero. Current. I one is zero. Two zero, and the three is also zero. You have to go. Where the mm -hmm. change over? Mm -hmm. so, uh, you have to go. Um, you can pause it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change over. Hey, take the like neutral. Take the neutral. This is the red face is giving us zero, as you can see on the meters. The yellow is also zero. The blue is zero. Mm. But the neutral is giving us about seventy-three. Mm. About, the seven, about 73. So we traced and we saw where the bypass is going. Other companies, including the Tema Oil Refinery, owe 26 million Ghana cities, while the Regional Maritime University owes 300,000 Ghana cities. Casapreco Distilleries paid 1 million Ghana cities out of their 2.1 million cities bill and a host of other companies. Meanwhile, the power distributor and Gridco have issued a joint press statement informing the general public about an intended maintenance work which will lead to two weeks of load shedding. So the second place we're visiting in the day is the Delta Frozen Company Limited. This is a space they've acquired to do the export of fresh mangoes out of this country. But that, we understand, has come to an end and the entire place now looks vacant. But the very interesting thing here is they've not been able to settle their debt with ECG and they owe to the tune of about 
205,000 Ghana cities. My name is Fred Duo reporting for City News.